Yeah, I do. <laughs> Say, Zeke, who was that he grizzly that just went by? Well, that's Red Flack. He's bull whacking for Wellmore. He's going to whack Wellmore's thing. Cheers, good order. You reckon you'll ever find out? Interesting facts about famous people. 10. John Wayne Black and White Western Movies, Colorized. Any John Wayne fan would likely have seen him in a movie like Stagecoach or The Big Trail in its original black and white version, some even on the big screen. It's also likely you saw it again in its colorized version, getting to enjoy it all over again. Today, we will take a look at 10 of Wayne's original black and white movies that were colorized. Some of them did a better job than others. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Stagecoach, 1939, John Wayne as Ringo Kidd, colorized in 1987 by Republic Pictures. Gentlemen, since it's most unlikely that we'll ever have the pleasure of meeting again socially. War of The Man from Utah, 1934, John Wayne as John Weston, colorized in 1991 by Republic Pictures, colorized again in 1995 by CST Entertainment Inc., retitled Rodeo Racketeers.
Marshal, I was just going to apply for a job. Sorry, son, but my deputies just went down there with all the men we need. Boys, get that man. I want him. The Lucky Texan, 1934, John Wayne as Jerry Mason, colorized in 1990 by Color Systems Technology, again colorized in 1995 by CST Entertainment Inc., retitled Cowboy G-Man, yet again colorized in 2006 by Legend Films, retitled Gold Strike River. Sagebrush Trail, 1933. John Wayne as John Brandt, a.k.a. Smith. Colorized in 1990 by Vid America, Color Systems Technology. Again colorized in 1995 by CST Entertainment Inc. Retitled Fugitive. Yet again colorized in 2006 by Legend Films. Retitled An Innocent Man. But why do you have to associate with that guy? The Shadow Gang. New Frontier, 1939. John Wayne as Stony Brook. No info when colorized. Looks like a first class fight. What are you, a referee or a peace officer? Stiff penalty for damaging state property, and I'm going to see that you get the limit. 
Here's a piece of state's property you sure damaged. <laughs> Come on, boys. Wait a minute, boys. Just the musketeers. The rest of you stay here. Why are we the only ones being let out? Search me. All I know is Gilbert wants you over at his office. You boys must realize you can't stop progress. Letting loose that burning fuel tank is your idea of progress, I suppose. No, it isn't. In fact, as soon as I heard about it, I discharged Harmon. However, this dam's going to be built if we have to call out... The Big Trail, 1930. John Wayne as Breck Coleman. No info when colorized. You reckon you'll ever find out who downed old Ben? Just possible that a certain low down coyote left his sign there. I'll scout for that bull train after all. Well, that's a ray of sunshine. Shake hands before you change your mind again. Got a good wagon boss for the trip? Red Flack. A fairly ruffian, but he can maul the toughest freighter on the plains into a pulp without even working up a sweat. He can do that, eh? Black? Ha! <laughs> well, he likes to do it, but he can run a bull train. Here he comes now. Well, who won't? All ready, chap. Likely you two have met before. Uh, I reckon not. Coleman's gonna scout for the train. And you understand, Black? If he can have final say in all matters dealing with the Indians. Yes, well, who's got the final say about busting his bull train? He understands that you're the wagon yes. boss. Another thing, another thing. Am I supposed to be witness to them wooden head pilgrims well, crossing the plains? The more that goes along, the better it is for ah. them and you in case the Indians jump you. Well, all right, all right. Make it clear to him. That I'm wagon boss. Oh, he understands that, Black. Seems to be a right pleasant cuss. He's a ruffian, but he's a real wagon boss. Likely he is. Must have done a big trade in wolf pelts this year. Yes, we had a big trade with the wolfers. Black, sell you any of these? Black. Oh, he didn't do any wolfing last winter, I guess. What outfit did you buy the biggest bunch from? A fellow named Lopez came in about a month ago with goes on to five thousand dollars worth. Lopez, eh? I guess I don't know him. I signed him up as a bullwhacker on the train. You did, eh? I'll see you next year. Bring your scalp along the back hole. All right, goodbye. So, it is. I don't know whether they're going to get Wendy, to I'm going to scout for that bull train. Good. Oh, Mr. Cameron, this Mr. Coleman. Howdy, Mr. Coleman. How do you do, sir? Uh, he can tell you more about that country where you're going and what kind of an outfit you need than any man around here. Thanks. Wendy, throw my bag then. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.